Hey guys, Malekith here. Within the last couple of hours, the latest patch of Crusader Kings has just gone live and with it the Sword of Islam expansion. So now as you can see, we have all of the Islamic nations available to play. They've also added a new region to the map, which can be found down here if I go to Independent Realms. As you can see. So this is going to be a playthrough of the Sword of Islam and I will be picking, let's see, I think I'm going to go with Ghana. I want to go into this new region, um, primarily because it's nice and sort of isolated from all of the Christian nations and the majority of the massive blob over here. Um, and it will give me a chance hopefully to learn these new mechanics because a lot of new mechanics have come in with the inclusion of the Muslim factions. So. You've got all sorts of things like decadence, which is where if your faction, or sorry, your dynasty has too many people sort of lounging around, not having land, not doing anything, your decadence rating goes up, and it's basically your sort of your dynasty, and therefore your nation has stagnated and got weak, and somebody can come swooping in and take it all away from you. Um, so that's the biggest change. There are lots of other little ones about how you declare war and how you can have multiple wives and all those sorts of things. But I have not played any tutorials. I don't even know if there are any. I'm basically throwing myself in at the deep end here on launch day. So if you're watching this in a few months time, expect to see some uh, things that are obviously common knowledge then uh, that I didn't have a clue about now. But uh, learn through doing, much like the first playthrough. So that's how my Irish playthrough went. So let's get going. So Ghana, which is a, let's see, I think it's the equivalent of a dukedom. Yep. So I don't have a kingdom, I have a dukedom. We have Songhai, or Songhai, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, next to us. And there is a kingdom to our north, which is Mauritania. So I'm not sure how this will go. I don't even know if this is a good faction to be choosing to start with. But uh, let's go. Okay, so as you can see, there's a nice new skin, lots of new icons along the top here by the look of it. So let's see, this is the decadence gain, so you don't want to be gaining. I believe you lose it by invading enemies and all sorts of things like that, making sure all your sons have land and that basically all close related family members have land. Um, I think the general way to keep it optimised is to make sure all your sons have land and that all your uncles and brothers are dead. Well, basically to put it simply. Uh, monthly balance and prestige as usual. Monthly piety. I think you get more piety than the standard Christian king because you use it more as a currency for attacking people. Uh, demise size. And then the standard ones over here. So let's have a look what's along the top. Important decisions are available. Go on a hash to Mecca. What's this day? So it cost me 6.9 wealth. I have to be older than 16. And I think this gives me a massive chunk of piety if I go do this. So it's a pilgrimage to Mecca. What else do I have? Observe Ramadan. So we'd gain piety, lose decadence, lose a lot of gold, and then get a piety gain and a church opinion. I'm not sure why it's called church, but I think we know what they mean as a temporary buff. But you can only do that with a lot of money by the looks of it. And then this one is voluntarily give your wealth to charity. I hope Allah and the Caliph will hear of your piety. So you gain some piety and lose some money. So it looks like you basically throw money in various things to get yourself um, various piety boosts. So I think going a Hajj to Mecca is probably a good one to start with. So we'll throw that in. Now, what else do we have? We have Vassals Might Revolt, Chief, somebody, somebody, somebody. Uh, I'm his heir, that's fine. Okay, I'm not sure why he wants to revolt. Two titles can be created, the Dukedom of Timbuktu and the Dukedom of Mali. I think I'll hold off on those for now. My ruler is unmarried. Now, that's not good. I believe at someone at this level you're meant to have three wives, 
and you only get stats off of your first wife so the first wife I marry I want to have very good stats let's see which ones am I lacking in I'm lacking in intrigue so what's the highest intrigue so I get a lot of intrigue off of her lose one here lose a bit in martial diplomacy I'm probably not at the point where I want intrigue at the moment. Stewardship is probably my better bet. So I will take her as my first wife. Well, assuming she'll uh, I'll be allowed to. Yep. So I'll send that one out. So the following wives can still get you... Um, I can't remember what they're called. Alliances and all those sorts of things. But the first one is the only one that gives you stats. Unmarried heir. So this is my son, the Emirate of Ghana. Let's find him a wife as well. That's probably a good one for him because she's got a good martial stat to back up his lack of one. Or is that the one that I just offered to marry? Okay, I'll come back to that. So I have too much territory. Which one is the best earner the primary one in Ghana so let's give I have no chance of pronouncing that to my son no um, eh, there we go got landed title sheikdom and all the lower titles off you go So good, he now has that, which has resolved the decadence issue a little bit. What other family members do we have? None. So that's the get all of your family members with provinces sorted. Pick an ambition. Plot to kill, plot to kill, amass wealth, get married. Let's do that one. So that's nice and easy to achieve, and I gain 10 piety for doing so. And press a ducal claim. I can assault those guys up there, but I probably don't want to do that just yet. I'd most likely be better off trying to take out these guys. So let's have a look how my military looks. Not huge. Okay, I guess it's time to just get this started, really. What's my income? 2.83. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Preparing myself to travel to Mecca, and I've understood that there are members of my court that have not yet gone on the pilgrimage to Mecca. It's his duty to be charitable to his people, and I'll bring one of them with him. So, it'll make the travel more enjoyable. Someone goes with me, increases their opinion. I lose a little bit of money. Go on then. He's fully prepared to travel. Regent ruling Ghana while he's away. So it's basically a little storyline here. So my spy master is now in charge. Okay. Actually, so that's the point. I haven't set my council doing things. Now they're pretty effective. There's some high numbers in there. Let's uh, uncover plots in my capital. Um, let's see. Let's train some troops in my capital as well. Collect some taxes there. Perform charity. What does this do? Local revolt risk minus 17%. Gains party. But there's a chance the court man pockets the money. Let's just research cultural tech. Let's have a quick look at religions. Oh no, I didn't want to put him there then. I wanted him to convert this lot out of paganism. That's unfortunate. I'd already clicked the button. So can we attack these guys? 
I must have a valid casus belli. I don't have one. Okay, I was under the impression you could attack provinces that neighboured yours, but apparently not. So that means where is he? Spy master, not spy master, chancellor. Get out there and fabricate some claims. So he's happy with that marriage. He's fulfilled the ambition to get married. Okay, what other ambitions do we have? Have a daughter? Um, so if I get 500 piety, I gain one learning, another 100. Let's try and get that one then. And now we can resolve. The son doesn't have a wife, but because he's now got his own province, he's sorting himself out. One of my servants has noticed that a hated rival is camping not far from us. I know that it is against the teachings of the Prophet to attack someone on Hajj, but this is a golden opportunity. So I could attempt to ambush him at night and lose 10 piety. I can ignore him and lose 10 prestige, or we can try and befriend him. Let's try that. Reconciling their differences. Oh, that's good. Don't want to annoy too many people until I get to grips with this. As you stop to camp for one evening, you notice that an old man is in poor clothing has made a camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you a hadith. I've no idea what that is. Maybe a story. He has, if you can spare him some bread. Let's uh, do that then. Sounds like a sort of religious parable. And we gain one diplomacy. So that was a, a good choice there. One gold for one diplomacy. I'll take that any day. Okay, as you arrive in Mecca, you start preparing for the evening's prayer when you discover that the water in the well is not entirely pure. This will not be valid water. Inform the others nearby, Ten Piety. We're now at Kabar itself and performing the Tawaf. Well, this game likes picking words that I cannot pronounce. I'm, I apologise to anyone who does know the correct pronunciation of these. Seven circuits, you walk around the black stone, and each time you complete the circuit, you point to the stone and say, in the name of Allah, Allah is great, and so on and so forth. Let's see, so shout at every circuit, we get proud, we gain 25 piety, or well, there's a chance of gaining proud, or only shout at the first, there's a chance of getting humble. So humble gives us plus one piety a month, whereas proud gives us prestige. Well, I believe piety is probably more useful in this case, as it seems to be the currency for attacking and things, revoking provinces, so I will go with humble. But it doesn't look like we've gained it. While performing wudu. Isn't that the um, thing Master Yi from League of Legends uses? Is that Wuju? Never mind. For the Knight's Prayer, a fellow pilgrim points out an impurity in the water. Gain some piety and some opinion. Wow, these are coming thick and fast. The Ninth Day Mecca you perform. Yeah, okay. Something at Mount Arafat. The entire afternoon dedicated to contemplative vigil, praying and reciting the Holy Quran. More piety. This is definitely the place to go if you want piety for your character. A ah, group of bandits has forced your party to make a stand. Outnumbered, but with the joy in our heart from our pilgrimage, we have a chance to defeat them. 
So if I fight them, there's a 15% chance of wounded, but I gain some prestige. Or I gain Craven. Which I don't really want. It's nice that they've put these little um, sort of hover over mouse tip uh, tool tip things now so we can see what the stats we're looking at actually do. Good, we didn't get wounded. So we return to his court, a changed man, humbled before Allah. Yep, yep, yep. There is no God. So we now gain the bonuses and the stat buffs. Good, my character's doing quite well now then. Al Moravid. I'm sure it wasn't called that a minute ago. In fact, a lot of these provinces are named something different to uh, previous versions of the game. Oh, here we go. Arrange a marriage. Is that me? No, that's not me. Uh, between my courtier and some sheik from somewhere else. Sheik. Sultan even. It's one of my random courtiers, so I don't really see why not. Lots of stats. They're passable. I guess so then. Go on then. So let's have a look. Can we hire mercenaries? Nope. Or holy orders? Nope. Wasn't really expecting holy orders, but... So we're of the Sunni faith. And this is the Caliph of the Sunni faith. So we have a look at some of our provinces. Let's see. There's a mosque. I believe you can own religious buildings as a, a Muslim nation, unlike the Christians where you can't own a church, you can only own the sort of feudal buildings. And uh, that's meant to be a good way of boosting your piety income. But uh, at 700 to build a new one, I can't afford that. Let's see what can I uh, set building. Pretty much just a wooden palisade. Castle village, I really want. Let's go then. Got to start somewhere. I'm going to change what this guy does. 31st of March. So I've got a while. letting the time tick by at the moment. Ah, it's actually a low stone wall we're building. So some of the other big changes that came in were um, leaders, when they're leading armies now, have combat sort of stats. So my combat modifier apparently this modifies any flank led by this character. Morale defense, minus 15%. Craven, minus 20%. Martial influence, 0.75. I don't know when I gained Craven. I must have had it already because I didn't run from that fight. So let's take our son, for example, his combat modifier. He's got plus 20% to defense, plus 20% to uh, from patient. And a times one modifier for martial influence. Let's see who else have we got in our court. Let's have a look, find some other people. 
What's this guy's? He's got morale offense plus ten point five percent. Okay, that's a top level thing, and it, it's coming from cruel, which is ten percent multiplied by the one point oh five modifier. So they're not they don't stack, that top one is what you're getting, and the bits below it are where it's coming from. He's however pagan, so I need to deal with him. Oh, Ghana's never had a shortage of soldiers. Okay, so we want to convert populace. Try and get this way a lot away from paganism and back to Sunni Muslim. I can't declare war on this guy yet, can I? Yes, I can. If we can attack a fellow Sunni Muslim, we will lose two party per month. So I can attack this one and this one because they neighbour my current provinces. Which is what I expected to happen. So do we want to try this? I guess there's only one way to uh, see what their his army looks like. Okay, military. Raise everything. Split this into two armies. Just wait for these troops to get to where I want them to be. Come on, I know it's a long way down here. These territories are big. Okay, he's coming to us. Ah, oh, my nobles are too autonomous to replace the leaders. What laws do I have? I'm not high enough up the, uh, the food chain to have those sorts of laws yet. And those go south. What's just popped up? Levy's raised too long. Yeah, yeah, alright. Let's march all of these guys this way then. That changed his mind. Okay, so if we look here, we can see where the rivers flow from. So I can attack from... If I attack from Timbuktu, I have to cross a river. But if I attack from Dijen, I don't. So let's split this army out a bit. I want to leave enough there that he doesn't attack here. Oh, he's heading south. Fine. If he's heading that way, we'll march in here. Start taking the province of him. Yeah, wait for his reinforcements to arrive. Where's this river link to? Oh, no, he's coming back again. Oh, my wife is pregnant. So where do these rivers link to? I can't tell anymore. Let's click this. There we go. So there's rivers to all three provinces. Word has reached that Count Imam has accused him of heresy. He's spy master, he's Sunni. I'm sure he's not a heretic. Don't annoy the spy master. Rule one of Crusader Kings. Okay, my son has inherited a mosque. Yeah, let's just march these guys. Actually, no, I'll just sit here. 
He's sieging faster than me, but I'm sieging the right province. Which is also his capital. Where is he? He's leading troops down here. So let's just speed this up a bit. A lot, in fact. Chancellor Bassi is doing a superb job. I'm having trouble with a town and a castle in Dijen. I shall, of course, send my Chancellor to try and increase the relation with one of them. Let's increase it with the castle, because that's where the ruler will be. Oh, my low stone wall has been built. We have a daughter. Okay, that works in my favour. His army's just marched off to fight some rebels, and although he's captured one place here, I can now march in straight after and take it back. And those rebels do actually seem to be destroying his army. So this is all working in my favour. Oh, where are they going? So they got defeated by the rebels, got pushed back into the territory I was in. Let's send a force after them to crush them completely. Never been a shortage of troops in Ghana, good. We have a peace offer from him. We gained the Sheikdom of Gao and Prestige. Thank you. We have some we have usurped the title. And we've won that war. So what's this? Vassal inheritance warning. Let's if I want to revoke his title, lower his opinion. If you do not have a claim. So let's see. It'll cost me 25 prestige, which I have. I will lower his opinion by 80 and other vassals by 20. Now, how many other vassals do I even have? Mostly mares. Ah, I do actually own that province. So what is it that's Wali Zakoi? Ah, okay, it's the the mosque that's going to go off to somebody else. Okay, let's disband these troops. Now, if we wanted to declare war here, I suspect there will be a... He's not independent. Is this this guy? Cost of some piety. Uh, all Muslim rulers' opinion of us will drop because we have a truce for the next however many years. Okay, so let's see. Can I do something else? No. Do I wait it out? I might wait it out and see if these rebels can take it off him and then I can hit them. Play the waiting game for a little bit. How's this paganism thing going? Still there. Something's gone on here. 
I've inherited the Sheikdom of Gurma and other titles. Title Lost in Succession, this one. Not sure why this one's lost. I wonder if I give it to him. If I give that province to my son, I guess the title won't be lost. So it'd be Gurma. Send. Not lost now. Has he got himself a wife yet? No. No, not me. Uh, email. To him. No. Desires a better alliance. Is that her? Yeah, that was her. No. Unlikely to have children. Oh. Unlikely to have children. Really? Oh, she's celibate. Okay. No, I can't force him to get married at all. That's unfortunate. I'd rather he started having kids and dealing with his own affairs now. So rebels have started capturing this province. Uh, what's this? Peasants. They might revolt. And the peasants of Ghana have revolted. So, let's raise an army to deal with them. Now, in which direction do rivers not come from? Pretty much just that top one. I need to get all the men to there. If you hold down shift and multi-click, you can set up your own routes for anyone who wasn't aware. No, you... No. There we go. So that rebel army's captured everything. Still sat there. some reason they weren't walking. Okay, let's merge them. And in they go. Before they capture something. Okay, let's have a look at this. Because this is the new combat screen. So we've got losses in this flank. And yesterday's losses. Okay. And you can see their tactics here. Faint tactic. Volley harass, like cavalry attack, archers. It's a bit more detailed, the uh, combat menu now. Oh. Courtier has just dropped dead, who was leading this army in the middle here. Up oh, Songhai, I've got their province back. I'm 
When was it I had to wait to? Uh, 1074, 25th of February, right. Let's accelerate them. So decadence is rising. Well, it's risen a little bit. Let's see, one title can be usurped. Emirate of Timbuktu. Can you usurp that? Hmm. Maybe later once I've captured both of these. Fed up with courtiers constant nagging about a decrepit bridge it needed fixing and decided to inspect it myself. Show me the bridge. If I had not trusted Wali Musa I wouldn't be alive. I was hanging from the broken edge of the bridge. With my one hand and the other was firmly held by Musa. The bridge was about to break when he told me to let go of the bridge and as I did that he pulled me back up to the bridge and saved me. Fair enough. Thank that guy. Where other rulers often abuse their positions and give in to excess, you have always valued moderation in all things. The quality is admired by the people you rule. Lose two decadence. Thank you very much. When was I waiting for? 1074. Oh, okay. Stuff just got crazy. So my guy has died and I'm now his son, so be it. Right, let's, um, no heir to the dynasty. Sorry, I knocked the microphone there. We do have a wife. Let's um, see about getting a few more. Now, none of them... Ah, oh, no, some of them do offer alliances. Though I have no idea where. Okay, let's I guess if I pick some with good stats, the children may have good stats. Okay, so that's that sort of resolved ish. Pick an ambition. Have a son. Titles and succession and everything because I don't have a Heir at the moment. Vassal inheritance. Press ducal claim. Yep, we know about those two already. Don't mean he's too big. I don't really have anyone to give it to, which is the problem. So I'm just going to stick with it for now. Probably means I can attack this guy though. Is anyone likely to revolt? No. Nope. Send. Military. Let's raise everyone. Mm, I'll leave those guys. Okay, where's his army? I want this one to stay there pretty much. The rest can deal with it. In fact, you three can group together there. Speed this up a little bit. So, throw them into there.
One of your beloved wives covets the position of first wife and has been trying to woo you into elevating her status. Oh, interesting. You can change who your first wife is. So her stats... Former husband, your father? You inherit your wife from your father. Interesting. Okay, yes, she'll be a good first wife. Odd choice, I guess. Uh, vassals might revolt. This guy. What can I do? Ward an honorary title. Cut bearer. Court musician. Court poet. Or chief architect. Let's give him chief architect. Let's go smash that army. So, 63 of them got away. We gained some prestige and some war score. They're running back this way, which is good. We could chase. Meanwhile, we're sieging down these provinces here. How's the religion looking? Still need to get rid of that paganism. So, now it's just a matter of waiting. There have been a shortage of soldiers, yep, yeah, fine. First siege is done. All score of 27. Here comes the peace offer. We gain the sheepdom of Zana, which is this one. Zama. What on earth has just gone on there? Why will you not be my vassal? Okay, there's some weird thing going on here. Open council position, my spy master. Okay, now let's pick one that likes me. You. Let's march them back into here then. Okay, well I think I'll end that there guys. We've started to see some of the weird little intricacies of Sword of Islam coming out. I will continue this series and I will also continue the Christian one alongside it. So don't worry, you're not going to miss out on the other one. So thanks for watching. See you next time.